Today is March 19th, chilly, but the ground was thawed out enough where I was able to move the Americana's fence a little bit so you can see the greener parts where most of the chickens are hanging out. I'll keep on moving that as the weather warms up. It looks like it's going to be a pretty rainy, wet week, so I'll just slowly kind of move them over this way. I have chickens out by this maple tree in a little while. The buffs and marins still have plenty of room and aren't tearing anything up too terrible. Perch, you ought to come out. Beautiful day. Hey guys, today is March 21st. It's a little cloudy, overcast. Uh, we're supposed to be getting some rain later, but temperature wise, it's really not that bad. Uh, so not a fantastic day to work on fence or do things outside just because the weather, as far as the rain's kind of been hit and miss. Uh, it was supposed to be raining earlier. The radar was all green, but there was not a drop on us, which was kind of odd. That doesn't happen very often, so. Anyway, because the weather is a little too iffy, didn't really work on fence, but hopefully we'll get a few good dry days this week. Temperature wise, everything looks great though. Let's see if the chickens remember what red peppers are. Come on chickens. Good chickens, got a few of them. make good on my promise now. They're being good. <laughs> Caught a lot of them. Let's see if I can get the others up. I'm a little bit crunched for time today. I debated even letting the chickens out. I don't know why I bothered with the Americanas, they're always bad. But these guys I can usually corral pretty easy, even without using a little bit of lure, like the red pepper. So once you get one moving, they just all kind of go. Oh. These guys are trained. So I can get these guys up pretty quick. They've had a little more practice than the Americanas. They're not very good. All right, good chickens. Get you guys some more food water and grab eggs. So I also need to hit up tractor supply really quick. I need to grab another incubator for that school project. I think they have some in stock. I'm just gonna get one like I already have. Uh, so it should be pretty quick, simple in and out here. Quick stop at the feed mill as well. Got four bags of feed, four bags of bedding. Could have used more, but also didn't want to weight my car down too terribly much. Howdy y'all. Today is March 22nd. It's rainy and gross out, but I got a fantastic call just a little bit ago. That said, my barn materials have been dropped off. So let's run out there and see what they're looking like. All right, guys, my barn package is here. So these are the trusses. They even printed my name on the wood, which is pretty cool. So I got plenty of those going across. Over here, it looks like some odds and ends. I don't have my boots on, so I don't wanna get out there too much. It's raining. Nails, liquid nails, the ridge vent. Looks like there's something else underneath as well. Bunch of this, I would imagine, is the floor for the second story. Just a bunch of wood here. Super cool. More wood. Don't really know exactly where all that's going. Over here, got the windows. And this looks like uh, more of the roof and siding. So this is the color I went with for the siding. And this is the roof here. 
That looks like the top on the left, and there's my wrap. I've got two different sizes here. See, there's the long one and the shorter one. Over here, concrete blocks. This looks like stuff for the second story. That's just more wood, most likely the same thing. There's my door here. And then more wood. Super excited to have all this out here and knowing this barn's gonna be getting built pretty soon. So my parents are heading out and they should be here in just a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna wait in the car for them and then we'll walk around and check out some more of this stuff. So I went to grab eggs from the Pearl Whites and one of these eggs actually doesn't have a shell. It's this one right here. You don't see them too often. Hopefully I don't break it. It's only the third one I've ever seen. Let's see if I can get it in the light a little better. But it's nice and squishy. Super weird. Not every day you see one of those. Uh, it's typical of new layers to do weird things like this. Brought it in for a little bit better lighting, but egg on the left has a shell, egg on the right, no shell. It's just like a little water balloon. It's pretty cool. Today is March 23rd and it's just been raining nonstop and my wood's out there for my barn and I don't want it getting messed up. So I'll run into Lowe's real quick. I'm gonna grab me some plastic. So it was absolutely pouring down rain this morning. It's not quite 10 o'clock yet, but there's another big band coming through. So got a few supplies plus the plastic I just bought. I'm gonna cover up some stuff. Uh, especially this. If anything, the top board, I'm gonna take the brunt of it. It's not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up and then probably the joists over here. Get these covered up. Hopefully there's not, at least there's not standing water on it, but they're definitely damp. So if I have enough plastic to at least get those two, that'd be great. It's a bunch of other piles. I uh, almost kind of see what I have. Got that one done. Put a couple larger staples like that. Hopefully have a little bit more meat versus, I can't even see the other ones. There's one. The wind whips out here just so hard. Uh, I'm hoping that'll stay on, but uh, it usually comes out this way. So I made sure to fold them that way. So I'm impressed it's not raining right now. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other ones. So they only had 10 by 25 rolls. After that, it was 100 foot. So it looks like the 25 footer will work fine. Got that one covered up pretty good. It just barely fit. I'm a little worried that the wind just gonna rip this off, but we'll see. At least there's a little bit of blow through because there is already some moisture under there. Hopefully it won't just trap it, heat up and warp everything. Uh, looks like it's gonna be pretty cloudy, so I'm not too worried about it and chilly. I'm starting to hear some thunder now. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna cover anything else up, but I mostly wanted to get the second story covered up. Today is March 24th, and if you take a good look at the woods there, you can start seeing some green popping out. A little wet. 
Chickens don't seem to mind too much though. That extension cord, I need to roll up. It is unplugged. There's another big band of rain coming in. I just feel like it's been raining nonstop for the past several days, but things are greening up. So spring is right around the corner. Chicks are coming next week. So things are happening. Uh, very cool to have the wood for the pole barn already at the property. I still haven't heard anything more on whether or not that's getting started earlier or we're still looking at the first week of April. I think a lot of that just depends on the weather. It's crazy to think I have chicks coming next week. Uh, I think they're coming midweek potentially, end week. I'd have to look at the calendar to see the actual date, but 25 chicks coming. Uh, my plan is to put them in the garage for about a week, then move the pearl whites out to the main property, and chicken kind of in the way. But uh, <laughs> that's kind of the plan. Be exciting to have some more animals. The week after that, the bees are coming. Uh, two packages, so not all the bees, but the majority of the bees. So I've got to get the beehive going as well. So just a lot of things going on.